All right, let's get right into it here. Market is down about 0.2% on the S&P. Looks like market initially uh, saw that uh, slight run up here. So you see, this is where we closed yesterday, right? And then uh, we gapped up, as you can see, and then we came back down. That's why there's a lower wick there. Um, and then uh, bulls pushed back up after the up gap was filled. And the second hour continuation looks like bulls trying to break out above uh, this horizontal pivot there, right? So prior support acting as new resistance, as you can see. There's two upper wicks there. So definitely, this is definitely the, the uh, micro term resistance. And I've adjusted my um, falling resistance a little bit just to accommodate. You see, it still connects here, and then it connects that wick. So you see that falling resistance still connects uh, with three dots there. And coinciding with the horizontal resistance, bulls were not able to uh, break out above that a double resistance is there and through that ham or the shooting star candle there on the second hour and pretty much fell right back down and that's kind of in the story last several trading days ever since uh, boss bears established their command center right you see that there's a pop fade pop fade pop fade right and that's what we call downtrend obviously we are in the short term downtrend uh, market is down, I think, about 5%, 4.5% since the all-time high, recent all-time high there at 523.7 or so. But if we just observe the moving averages, and you can kind of see that uh, this is, we're sort of seeing trend changing as we are, you know, riding the moving averages here. And then now we are falling down as the moving average is shifting uh, to the downside. You see that. So obviously, you know, I'm looking at 65 minute chart here. I mean, I'm still uh, in the camp, in a camp that in the long term, even in the mid term, uh, we're still in a, a primary long term uptrend. And uh, we're merely seeing a correctional move within that uptrend, right? And so um, another thing that uh, we're seeing right now is this island gap. I mean, bears are trying really, really hard. It's been taking them two days now. Well, really three days because this, this is one motion of a gap, right? So we've been actually hanging around here for three days, right? Actually, that, that's part of one, two, three, actually five days, five days. Um, we've been, you know, bears trying to fill this gap for five days now, right? And this island gap, it as of today, as of close, is still remaining. So we're still at a very much vulnerable spot, as I talked about on the last night's video, that this island gap remains open. Bulls are going to try, just like how they did it today, this morning. Bulls are going to continue trying to make a move to the upside. It's probably best for the sellers just go ahead and fill this gap once for all. And once this gap gets filled, we're probably going to see support in this vicinity. Not to mention that 500 is such a psychological number. It is coinciding with this island gap. Uh, keep in mind, I think there could because I think that once we break below 500, I think there's going to be a lot of people looking to short or even getting stopped out of their longs. And this is where a lot of people could think that we could potentially plunge down and where market could see that oversold bounce. Uh, just, and this is kind of the likely level where that can happen. So if, the, if bears go down, just fill this gap, it could act as support. However, if, if bears don't want to deal with this act, this level acting as support, they can gap it down, turn this into an island down gap. And if that island down gap is sustained, it's never filled, it's going to cost buyers. 
and uh, things going to be very very hectic if this becomes an island down gap so it is better for the buyers to just allow the bears to come down fill this gap and then you know possibly after the gap gets filled we could see that bounce um and that oversold bounce because that oscillator again got rejected on that falling resistance as you can see right here it's here got rejected rejected that's third time that it got rejected in this um in this vicinity see how perfectly and that sort of happened right when bulls brought that price up right when when the bulls brought that price up to this resistance that's when my oscillator was actually i was watching it it was like hitting it right there without that cross so what it looked like was it looked like on the second hour high of the day on the second hour it looked like this thing was like doing this like fully stretching and it looked like if we did see that third and fourth hour continuation to the upside we would have broken out and because this oscillator has been tamed for so long if this thing does break out we could potentially see a lot of buyers jump in and at least in the micro term at least just one day or two days of run right so this that was this vicinity right here above like 503 or so but you see how that oscillator got rejected just right on that resistance and once that oscillator was not able to break out and the price fizzled down oscillator rolled over or not rolled over yet obviously we're still early stage we crossed down right in the past when we did see that oscillator crossing down like this we did see the oscillator rolling over right and that was this that was this that was this that was that and then that's where we're at and obviously we're tightening up here i mean the oscillator is really tightening up here so um i think at this point obviously this overall sentiment is still bearish but we're sort of dealing with oversold sentiment. I think a lot of people are possibly wondering where, where, where we're going to see at least some sort of an oversold, like a relief bounce before that leg lower. I think that's what a lot of people are looking for. And this is a likely level in this era, this 500 era. Either it gets filled or not filled. Again, it's better for the bulls if this island gap is not filled. It's better for the sellers if this island gap is filled.